what is going on guys falto is here and today i'm going to be going on vacation and i thought why not i should vlog the plane ride from my home to the vacation area so today i'm going to be flying from new york to mumbai and i'm going to be going from emirates So that is our aircraft that I'll be flying in today. This is the Airbus A380. I don't know if you can see that, but it's that um, flight or it's that aircraft. And I believe this is the biggest passenger aircraft, so that's pretty cool. And um, this is my second time going on this uh, specific aircraft because I went on this um, exact one three years ago when I also went to India. Yeah, except I was on I was with Etihad that time. And This is the seat. Um, oh, I'll talk about more. The, um, I talk about these more in depth later. The pillow. We got these uh, headphones. This is the blanket. Overall, not bad. So, according to my knowledge, uh, Emirates has the best entertainment system. It's their ice system. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. This is my first time looking at this. So. You guys can look at it with me, I guess. So there's today's flight about us, Emirates Red of, of Dubai Airport, new headlines, what's on, discover Dubai, and help. Let's go back home. Communications. Okay, you know what? Let's look at the Wi Fi. Let's see how much it costs. I was told 20 megabytes are free, so hopefully um, that that is. Uh, Still on this flight. That's not what we need. Okay, yeah, so you do get 20 megabytes of free Wi Fi on here. I mean, I guess that's, that, that's not much, but I guess that is enough to send a Snapchat while you're way up in the air, which I will do. <laughs> and this is the remote, it's pretty cool. It looks like a PSP control, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, Etihad had the same one, on, except uh, it was black. But yeah, we have two PSP ports, one here and one here. This is for the headphones, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is the uh, power outlet. This is the tray table. It folds out. It looks uh, nice. In terms of leg room, I have lots of leg room. I can like almost lie down. Well, not really, but it's pretty good. Now I'm very short, so for me that's good. If you're tall, I don't know, but I have lots of leg room. Let's uh, look at the let's look at the headphones. These are the headphones Emirates gives you. Now I have my own um, noise canceling headphones, so I'm not gonna need these, but I'll give these a try and I'll tell you how they how they fit and if they're good. So these headphones are extremely cheap looking and they feel extremely cheap on your head as well. So Emirates and Trevor headphones, bad. So now I'm gonna look at some of the entertainment options we have. Let's look at some movies. So they seem to have a lot of movies from my uh, prior knowledge and they can see that. 
Cloud Screen is it's it's uh, it's passable. It's, I wouldn't say it's the best. I think uh, Etihad had a better touch screen when I was with them. Like there, there's a slight half second lag. Uh, yeah, I, I could feel that lag. <laughs> but yeah, there's lots of movies. They even have a section for Marvel movies on its own. Let's check that out. So they have Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, wow. But unfortunate thing is I've seen all these movies like 20 times, so I mean... <laughs> So it's been 10 minutes and we already got this amenity kit and here's what's inside it. We have these stickers so that you can be woken up when you want meal, when you don't want to be woken up at all or if you want to be woken up for a duty free item. We have a eye mask here which is very helpful if you want to sleep. We even have a pair of socks which I will wear in a second and we also have toothpaste and a toothbrush as you can see. So yeah, uh, this was expected. I think I think like almost every international airlines uh, uses these. So that's good. And if you're wondering where you're, you're supposed to like uh, have these um, stickers, they go like by your seat over here. Yeah, like over here. So while I was filming the mini kit, I got the menu here, and I'll show you the menu. On the menu, we have a selection of juices and soft drinks for the beverages, and we have coffee and tea and I sure and I'm not gonna read this whole thing so you guys can pause the video uh, yeah, that. for lunch we have these things for light bites we have these things and for breakfast we have this now if you're curious I ordered the vegetarian meal because I am vegetarian so I'll be I'll be having that bathrooms that are well, a little bit uh, bigger than this and it's a little too small yeah we have uh, the sink with the hose for the tap we have the soap and surprisingly we also have some uh, uh, cologne and uh, moisturizer that's uh, interesting so I'm over here like this is like the I guess uh, cabin area where you can just like grab some snacks, some drinks, and some even coffee if you like. Let's see what they have. They have these savory biscuits. I guess I'll try these. They have some juices. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are non-alcoholic, but don't count my word on that. Um, this is uh, Twix. We have some Sanders chocolates. We have some relaxed chocolates. Yeah, you know. You know, just relax. We also have this uh, Vita Berry um, thing. So this is pretty cool. What's cool is that um, for like the nighttime, they have these um, um, star lights or, or these lights that resemble stars. And it's, yeah, it, it looks very, very nice, honestly. And uh, I was looking through like the Wi Fi options, and apparently, you're able to get two hours of texting texting via WhatsApp, um, Facebook Messenger, and some other tech um, like texting apps, and it's free for unlimited texting for two hours. That's very good. 
uh, after I sleep, I might actually um, uh, use that option and uh, you know text some people. Pizza time. So we are about two hours um, away from Dubai, where we'll make our connection, and uh, we got breakfast now. For breakfast, we have a bread, which was also at dinner. Uh, different crackers now, or yeah, these are crackers or saltines. Honestly, I don't know. I don't eat crackers or saltines, but if I'm, I'm, I'm probably looking like I can be getting right now. And we have some uh, cream, or this is for like, oh, it's actually milk. Never mind. We have, oops. We have uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. We have uh, some jam and that. This is the main breakfast place. Again, I already uh, Indian vegetarian meal, so we got this. Yep. And honestly, this looks delicious, so I'm going to eat like a king. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, um, the food definitely looked better than the way it tasted. Especially the main course. Um, the fruits were fine, and, and the bread was a little dry, but I mean, we're on an airplane, so it's fine. But this was a... Uh, it was very, uh, I didn't like this at all, so, yeah. Uh, if you want to know my favorite meal, it was the pizza that I had earlier, like a few hours ago. And um, the, the lunch I had, like, at the very beginning, that was alright, but um, the pizza was the best. I even got a second one, because I asked. So, yes, yeah, so thank you, Emirates, for giving me a second pizza <laughs> by request. <laughs> Now, I also ordered a coffee, like, right about now, because, um, you see, uh, in the, in the U.S. right now, it's like 10.30. However, however, in India right now, um, it's like 8 a.m., so, yeah. And I'm gonna be going there, so that means I have 12 more hours, pretty much, to be awake, so, you know, I need some coffee, otherwise, you know, I'll probably get jet lag. So in about um, like 20 minutes we should be landing and I can't wait to land because I've been in here for like 12 hours which is half a day so I want to finally be on the ground you know for once yep just like 20 minutes left and about like 100 miles so can't wait and right now my ears are popping and it like it hurts and it feels good at the same time because your ears are clogged you know and they're popping So originally I was going to give you a mini tour of the Dubai airport. By mini tour I mean just like um, vlogging my way from my one flight to another flight which is this flight. Unfortunately the flight from JFK to Dubai got delayed which meant I didn't have much time to do anything in Dubai so we just have to like run and we just rush to the to um, to this plane. Now this plane is the Airbus, sorry it's not the Airbus, it's the Boeing 777. It's it's a much smaller plane and um, in terms of um, how different it is than the, than the Airbus A380, it's not that much different. I mean certainly um, I heard people say the legroom is actually um, less, it's more cramped but honestly I don't think it's less. I think it's about the same. And I will say that um, the width does feel a little bit smaller, so I'm guessing it's a little smaller in the width size, but in the leg wise, I don't feel any difference. Probably because I'm small, but yeah. So since I couldn't show you a inside of the airport, I'll show you from the outside. That's the airport. That's the Dubai morning, International the Airport. And, uh,
take a look at the menu of this flight. Now, since this is going to be a three-hour flight, there's only breakfast served. Now, let's see what they have. They have some fruits, some akuri, some masala dosa, which I cannot wait to try. A cake, and some coffee and tea. Yep. And one thing, um, I was a little, um, I, I was a little upset, I guess you could say that it's a pet peeve, but it's a very minor one. Is the menu was like wet from the corners. I mean, it's not a that big, big a deal, but like, but it shouldn't be wet. And um, last time our our menu was in Arabic and English. This time it's also in Hindi. As you see in the middle, I'll show you guys over here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The Twitter report is showing uh, 27 degrees centigrade. This is a one hurricane scale, partly cloudy, and uh, light rain. Along with, uh, with my collision first officer, Alex Sarnot, uh, Berser Khalid Mostafa, uh, cabin crew supervisors at the back, Yusef Svetlana, and it's been a pleasure flying you to fight. We hope you have a job stay in and mobile for a safe onward journey. Once again, thank you all for choosing number seven. Okay, so now I'll give you guys my final verdict of flying with Emirates and I did record something when I landed However, um my mic kind of crapped out and the audio sounds really bad and corrupted So I unfortunately I cannot show you that but anyways, here's my verdict So overall, I was very happy with the trip and if I had to do it again I wouldn't hesitate doing it again, but I will say one thing that I enjoyed the 12 hours on the Airbus A380 way more than the three hours on the 777 uh, this is because the seats were a little bit wider on the a380 compared to the 777 and the leg room was about the same though it might be a little small on the 777 but i didn't notice that because i am a short person so but you might do that because you're probably taller than me and the service was uh, better and quicker on the on the A380 compared to the 777 which service does matter because service can mean that you have a really bad experience so there you had it this was my plane ride vlog from New York to Mumbai and as always I'll catch you in the next one thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already